Hello and welcome back to a new video. So I recently got myself this brand new Switch OLED because I wasn't very happy with my Steam Deck for a few reasons that I won't really get into in this video. But unfortunately, after playing around with the Switch OLED for a few days now, I can't really say that I can recommend this device. So I originally got the Steam Deck because I'm planning to do some traveling around Asia. I plan to do some backpacking around Thailand and maybe Malaysia and maybe Japan as well. And I wanted some gaming devices that will keep me occupied when I'm either traveling or not really doing anything. So I decided to get the Steam Deck thinking that would solve my problem. Unfortunately, the Steam Deck kind of fell flat in several areas. So I decided to get myself a Switch OLED instead, hoping that it would fix the problems I'm having. And I do prefer the Switch OLED's body and design over the Steam Deck. Compared to the Steam Deck, it is a lot slimmer and a lot easier to hold and a lot lighter. When I try to one finger both of these devices, it's way easy, easier to do that with the Switch OLED, obviously. But everything else with the Switch OLED is just kind of disappointing and rather lacking in luster. So my main problem with the Switch OLED is it's basically exactly the same as the Switch Lite, apart from it has an OLED screen, which is a lot bigger in size. And the OLED screen, okay, it does look very nice. But apart from the OLED screen, there's not really much about the OLED that is much of an improvement over the Switch Lite. It has exactly the same kind of hardware, software, system, operating system. You'll notice that it's extremely slow and laggy. Let me show you how long it takes to boot up the N Nintendo eShop. And I'm pretty sure this is nothing to do with my internet connection because I've got pretty decent internet connection. I'm not downloading or uploading anything right now. So it should have no problems opening the eShop. Look how long it's taken. It's taken like 20 seconds just to open up the eShop and load the front page. But then toggling down, see how long it takes for my button inputs to be registered. I press it and then it moves. I press it and then it moves. I press it and then it moves. And then it doesn't even load up the things on the page until about 15 seconds. Let's see how long it takes. Still loading, still loading. I don't know how it takes such a long time just to load a storefront page. And there, it's finally loaded. It's just, so unbearable to use this eShop. You're trying to look for offers, discounts on games or new releases or look at the top 10 chart. And it's just so horrible to use in comparison to the Steam Deck. I'll show you my Steam Deck in comparison when you open up the Steam Store. I just go to Store, wait for it to connect first. So I just... I go to the Store and then... Uh, there, it's, it's loaded. See? Okay, not instantly, but it's way faster than the Nintendo eShop. And look, I've got Steam storefront all loaded up. I can scroll through the games and look at different things. And I can go down to the bottom, go back up. It's just so much faster than the Switch OLED store. It just I thought the Switch OLED, since it's a newer model and it's more expensive, that it would have beefed up specs. But it seems like it's running exactly the same specs as the Switch Lite. Which kind of sucks. I would have at least hoped or expected they would put a more powerful process in this thing so it could load the bloody shop faster than 20 seconds. So it's really horrible navigating this shop. And then you go on to here trying to look for games. And there's just no good games on Switch OLED. If you're not really a big fan of Nintendo games, which I'm not really a big fan of Nintendo games, to be honest. I don't really care about Mario or Zelda or Pokemon. I mainly get the Switch consoles because i like the indie games you get on it and there's some pc games on it as well like mortal kombat is one of my favorite games also stuff like dead cells or you know you can get these simple indie games like cuphead on it too so there are some non-nintendo games on it but you go into the top 10 chart of switch OLED, and what you have on number one you have this stupid disney game as if I'm a 33 year old grown man, I don't want to play stupid Disney games for kids. Stupid FIFA game, I mean, who cares about FIFA football games anymore? They're all exactly the same every year a new one comes out with barely any differences. Number three is Inside, like a really, really old indie game. And you've got Monkey Island, for some reason you've got Splatoon, which looks kind of stupid. It's just like these big headed cartoon characters spraying paint everywhere got Among Us, a bloody mobile game, is 
on the top 10 of Nintendo eStore. It's so dumb. All these games look rubbish. You've got Hades and Metro. And you've got Minecraft. I mean, come on. Where are the good games? You've got Bioshock. I don't know what to play on the Switch OLED. Even though I really like the device, I have no idea what to play on it. I play Mario Kart and... Let me show you. I play... Mortal Kombat and Dead Cells, Duck's Dungeon, and Mario Kart. And that's basically the only games I can find to play that I actually enjoy playing. In comparison, on my Steam Deck, I've got really cool games like Elden Ring, Hitman, Sea of Thieves. I've got Sekiro, and I've got uh, also Duck's Dungeon. But then I've got my entire Steam library, which has loads of really cool games. Can you imagine playing any of these games on the Switch OLED? There's no way you could play Elden Ring... Death Stranding, um, Fallout, Hitman. I mean, you can play GTA 5 on this. What does Switch have? Switch has GTA Trilogy, the really old games from almost a decade ago. When it comes to which device has the better games, obviously the Steam Deck has way better games. And I'm really struggling to find games I really like on the Switch. And it's a bit of a shame. Because I really like the console, I like the form factor and how slim it is. And I love this kickstand thing, look, you can just flip this out, place it on a surface any way you want to, and whip out a controller and play pretty well. Also, the Steam Deck can do other things, it has a desktop mode, it has a web browser. I don't know if the Switch has a web browser. I heard it has like a secret hidden web browser, you need to fiddle around with the settings so you can use it, so you can Google stuff and use web pages. Why can't they just have like a Nintendo web browser so it adds a bit more functionality to this device? It's just a bit disappointing because it is quite a nice piece of gear, but it is very limiting if you're not really a big fan of stuff like Mario or Pokemon. You do get this dock with it so you can connect it to a TV. But then if you connect a Switch OLED to a TV, then you kind of, you're not, you're not benefiting from the OLED screen. The only reason to get the Switch OLED is because it has an OLED screen. Otherwise, you might as well just get the original Switch, which is way cheaper if you plan to plug that into the TV. But it just seems like the only reason you'd use this is for the bigger OLED screen, which is, I guess it is nice looking. But it does feel kind of overpriced. I mean, it's nearly £300 and it's almost exactly the same as the original Switch. There's no improvements in speed or performance. It's just like a slight improvement in the screen size and the colour of the screen and the resolution of the screen. It does seem very much noticeably better. But it is really difficult to choose the Switch OLED over the Steam Deck if I had to choose between the two consoles. It's a real shame that Nintendo doesn't come out with a Switch Pro that has beefed up specs and maybe has some added functionality like a desktop browser. It's just kind of funny because for only £300 you could get the Steam Deck, the 64GB version, or you could get a Switch OLED. The, the same price and the Steam Deck is so much more powerful, plays so much more games, has so much more functionality in the way that it has a desktop mode. You can plug in a mouse and keyboard, plug in the monitor and basically turn it into a desktop computer. So unless you're not a mega fan of Nintendo games like Pokemon and Zelda, then there's not really any reason to choose the Switch OLED over the Steam Deck. And I don't know if I'll be choosing the Switch OLED over the Steam Deck for my backpacking trip, which is coming up very soon. So unfortunately, I don't know if I can recommend the Switch OLED, and I kind of do regret buying it.